Assalamu alaikum I am Asma Mushtaq from the Double E Vibes and in this tutorial I am going to explain an application of the linear algebra for the encryption and the decryption of the message okay so assuming that the there is a sender and there is a receiver and they want to communicate with each other fine over a particular communication link or a channel now the sender can be represented as the transmitter while the receiver can be represented by rx fine and they want their communication or the messages to be hidden or encrypted now a third party or a third person which can be named as the hacker wants to retrieve the information they are sharing with each other fine so the transmitter and the receiver will perform the encoding and decoding in order to keep their communication hidden from the hacker assuming that the transmitter sends the message hello world fine so this sender will actually encrypt the original message using a certain technique or the algorithm of the linear algebra so the sender will choose a key and it will actually encode his original message using that key and the new message can be represented as the encrypted message fine now on the receiving side the algorithm the sender is using for the encryption must be known as well as the key should be provided so that the receiver is able to perceive that particular information all right so the first step is to assign a unique code or the numbers to the alphabets that are present in the message they can start from any value right now i am starting the alphabets with the number 0 and you can see the space is given the value 27 and the exclamation sign is given the value of 26 fine the next step is to assign the quotes or the numbers to the original message so here i have actually assigned h as 7 and similarly e is assigned the value of 4 so by looking at these numbers we will assign the values to our original messages fine and we can see that the space is assigned a code as well okay once we assign the codes code numbers to the original message the next step is to write them in the form of the vector so i will represent my message m1 as 7 4 11 fine and message 2 will be equal to 11 14 and 26 and message 3 will be 22 14 and then 17 and the last message which can be represented by m4 this is equal to 11 3 and 26 since there were total 20 uh, 12 characters that needed to be sent fine one we could had been we can make the vectors of two two numbers but obviously then it will increase the calculations and we will have to encode our message it depends on the value of the provided key fine that you should use for encoding this message so just assuming the algorithm if i am encrypting my message with the algorithm key into m then we have to satisfy the order of multiplication of the matrices so if the order of the k is 3 cross 3 then m should be of 3 cross 1 and if my key was of the order of 2 cross 2 then the message should be of order 2 cross 1 fine so in order to satisfy the multiplication rule if we are adopting the multiplication algorithm for the encoding then the order of multiplication should be satisfied 
so a key is chosen randomly as well but once it is selected then it is used throughout for the encryption so i have chosen this key randomly for encoding the message and let's now obtain the first encoded message which can be obtained as a multiplication of key with the original message m1 so this is 210 then 01 and 2 fine let's just write down the first message which is 7 4 and 11 and this is merely the multiplication of the matrices so the first one is 7 then 7 4s are 7 2s are 14 14 plus 4 is 18 then 0 4 plus 22 22 plus 4 is 26 so this is the first encoded message let me call it e1 and using the same technique i can obtain e2 which will be equal to k uh, k times of m2 and its value is equal to 11 36 and then 66 and e3 which will be obtained as the multiple of k m3 this message vector is equal to 22 58 and 48 and the last one is e4 which is obtained as km4 and its value is equal to 11 23 and 55 now looking at the values of the hidden message now rather than look uh, seeing the values of the message that the transmitter sent let's just map what we uh, the hacker can see so the value is 11 36 and 66 so 66 is actually doesn't make any sense looking at the value of 11 the first value that hacker can encounter is 11 which corresponds to l while the original message first alphabet is h okay so in this way our information is actually hidden after the encoding the message the next step is the decoding that will be done at the receiving side using the value of the key so key must be forwarded to the receiver as well as well as the algorithm according to which these messages are actually encrypted the algorithm was used e is equal to k times of m in order to retrieve m i will have to eliminate k from here which can be done using the left inverse multiplication of k so k inverse into e will be equal to k inverse into k into m which simplifies to m is equal to k inverse into e all right so the next step is to find the inverse of k so k inverse is equal to a joint of k divided by k determinant the first step is to find the determinant of k which is very simple we will expand it from the first row while these two values are zero so expand it from the first column and the first row we will see it's equal to 2 the determinant of k is equal to 2 then the adjoint of k will be equal to k11 k12 k13 then k21 k22 k23 k31 k32 and then k33 and what we have to do we have to take the transpose of it as well and k11 is found let me find it on the same page so k11 means minus 1 raised to power 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 and then we have to write the value of the determinant by skipping the first row and the first column which is equal to 2 in this case so this is actually 1 0 1 2 so this becomes minus 1 raised to power some even number is always positive 1 and here 2 minus 0 this is equal to 2 similarly we can find k 1 2 which is equal to minus 1 raised to power 1 plus 2 is 3 so which means first row and the second column so you will have 2 0 0 2 and this becomes what 
4 and since this is the odd power so minus will be placed before it using the same technique we can find all the values of this case and we can substitute it in the transpose matrix so the adjoint of k will be equal to the transpose of it let's just find the transpose of it by switching the rows into columns so 2 minus 4 2 the first row is written as the column wise now the second row written as the second column so this will be 0 2 minus 1 then 0 0 1 and the k inverse will be obtained by dividing this matrix by 2 since the determinant of k was equal to 2 so this becomes let me write it 1 over 2 outside because it doesn't make any difference and then 2 0 0 minus 4 2 0 2 minus 1 and 1 and now the next step is to find the first encoded message m which is m1 which is equal to k inverse times of e1 so 1 over 2 times of 2 0 0 minus 4 2 0 2 minus 1 1 and my first encrypted message was equal to e1 okay so e1 which is 7 18 and 26 7 18 and 26 fine so 7 2s are 14 while other two entries are multiplied with 0 so they are 0 then we will have minus 4 into 7 is minus 28 then plus 18 to our 36 then 0 while the last entry is 14 then 7 into minus 1 is minus 7 and then what you will have you will have 14 minus uh, so this becomes 14 minus 18 and then plus 26 okay so we have 1 over 2 outside and inside we will have 14 then 26 36 minus 24 so 6 minus 4 is 2 3 minus 1 is 12 then and the last value is 22 okay so why, when we will divide it by 2 this becomes 7 this becomes 6 and this becomes 11 all right okay so here is a little problem so this becomes 8 it's not equal to 12 so that's why this becomes 4 fine and this is if you look at the original message m1 that we actually encoded so this was exactly equal to 7 4 and 11 that we have retrieved we can do the test for the other message m2 while multiplying with the inverse which is 2 minus 4 2 0 2 minus 1 0 0 1 and then the second encrypted message that was equal to 11 36 and 66 so let's just try to see either they are equal or not so 1 over 2 outside inside you will have 11 2s are 22 then minus 44 plus 72 then you will have 22 minus 36 plus 66 fine so 1 over 2 inside the bracket you will have 11 72 minus 44 28 and then 22 minus 36 plus 66 gives me 52 okay and so this is 22 basically when i will divide it by 2 so it becomes 11 it becomes 14 and it's 26 which is exactly equal to the second message that we encrypted 11 14 and 26 so in this way the receiver will actually decode the information thank you for watching